global project uh, development. I think it's absolutely of critical importance that Prime Minister Theresa May attend the G20 in Hangzhou. And I think Theresa May will be here to build bridges with China. The first one that she's going to be interested in is building a bridge of trust in business. Mm -hmm. I think this will be the foundation of the bilateral relationship going forward. The second bridge is going to be slightly less tangible. It's going to be in resolving global issues. Mm -hmm. So how do we cross a, glo a bridge to global understanding with China? I think there's many areas where our two countries Hona, can collaborate areas like climate change, areas like counter-terrorism, mm. and areas like Belt and Road development. I think, well, you're at one end of the Belt and Road and we're at the other. And I think that there's going to be a synergy in a lot of different areas. Number one, expert expertise in global project uh, development. I think Britain was very global at one stage in its life. I think China is going to be the new global superpower within the next two to five years. Uh, and I think Britain and China can work together on infrastructure projects, on education development, um, and also on health care. <laughs> I think this is a really exciting initiative and I'm not surprised that it's been born somewhere like Hangzhou. I mean this is a city famed for traders, yeah. famed for innovators and I think Jack Ma is just the, the current pinnacle of, uh, on that innovation platform. Yes. I think that economic inclusion is one of the key, key aspects of G20. I mean for example, I, I, we received in our welcome pack at B20, not only a beautiful silk scarf, but also a Lenovo pad. It was kind of the old artistic quality uh, for which Hangzhou is renowned, meeting the new innovative platform of online communication. I think that it will empower SMEs. Thank you very much, Claire. Thank, Thank you, you very so time. much for hosting us, Hona. I really enjoyed the show.